Lucky 15's chase, it's a listed contest over three miles and one furlong. And the confirmed front runner across the bay comes into the first, runs down it slightly, but is over in front from Wayward Prince in second. Quito de la Roque is in third place, and Calgary Bay is under restraint at the rear of the field as they head towards the first of the open ditches, number two of the 19. And across the bay. Again, just jumping out to the right early on, from Wayward Prince in second place, Quito de la Roque towards the inside in the maroon and white. And Calgary Bay, as they cross the national course, will be in use in about an hour or so's time. And out in front, across the bay. With about two lengths in hand over Wayward Prince, Quito de la Roque is in third place in Calgary Bay at the rear of the field. So across the bay, a little straighter there. Calgary Bay, by contrast, got right into the bottom of it and makes a, a mistake that stems his momentum. This early stage, pale blue colours of across the bay, cutting out the running and ensuring that it is a reasonable test. In second place is Wayward Prince, Cato La Roque's rider. Carl Madden will be probably pretty happy that at least it's not a dawdle. Confirmed Stayer, who won here at the national meeting in 2011 and a dual grade one winner. Calgary Bay, after that mistake, is still well in touch at the rear of the field, last of the quartet, having run no sort of race on his reappearance three weeks ago. So entering the back straight, a line of four fences there, third of which is the second of the open ditches. And across the bay it is who leads by about four lengths from Wayward Prince, Quito de la Roque in third place and Calgary Bay. As they take that fence and across the bay over in front, but just having his rhythm interrupted slightly by this tendency to run down the fences as he comes on towards fence number five with a lead of about four lengths from Wayward Prince, Quito de la Roque and Calgary Bay. Across the bay, ridden into it, puts in an extra stride, is cautious but safe again it's not allowing him to break clear of his field and a reminder administered from Jason Maguire say the leader just not helping himself really by a couple of cautious leaps and when he sees a stride he's tending to jump out to the right as he did so there but still has the lead as they race towards the fence that will mark the end of the jumping in the back straight for the first time across the bay out towards the middle of the course but he's straighter there from in second wayward Prince Quito de la Roque has put in an extra stride in third place was clever and Calgary Bay who hasn't repeated any of the errors he made at the third down any of the fences down the back is still lobbing along in last place so across the bay turns towards the cross fence and has established a seven length lead now over in second place wayward Prince. so this is more what Jason Maguire one senses had in mind but again on the approach towards it he's over safely and is intent on making this a good test because He's just being shaken up to try and maintain this advantage and uh, clearly across the base tactics are going to be forceful ones. He's about 10 lengths clear or so from Wayward Prince in second and lower in the saddle there at Jason Maguire seems intent on ensuring that he tries to remain clear of his field, see if his jumping will be straight and true up the home straight as they approach fence number nine. Across the bay, again just a little slow into it and again Calgary Bay, not for the first time, just got into the bottom of it, Get a little bit of a brush but out in front across the bay hasn't managed to get any further clear. If anything, Wayward Prince is closer. They take another ditch. That occasion across the bay showed no signs of jumping out to the left, but is still being encouraged along. Wayward Prince in second, Quito de in third, and Calgary Bay in fourth. So very little change in the play. As across the bay, unbeaten in two starts this year when making every single yard of the running, bidding to land the hat trick in the same manner. Leads from about six lengths from Wayward Prince. Second on his reappearance to Silvianarco Conti and travels comfortably in second at this stage. Across the bay over, Wayward Prince from Quito de la Roque in third. Dower Stair, Quito de la Roque and Calgary Bay, last of the four. So still across the bay being shunted along by Jason Maguire. Carson I to the big screen, he's six lengths clear of the strong travelling Wayward Prince. Two lengths back to Quito de la Roque and Calgary Bay. And across the bay just shifting off the rails round the bend as well. Another reminder to keep him on the straight and narrow. And he really has not helped himself here because once again, through his own antics, he's forfeited a good deal of the lead that Jason Maguire worked so hard to build up down the home straight, and he's only about four lengths clear across the bay. If anything less than that now, Wayward Prince and Quito de la Roque both begin to improve and take closer order as they race to the first down the back, across the bay. Uh, ridden into it, Wayward Prince in second, Quito de la Roque, and Calgary Bay still in close enough attendance, last of the four, across the bay still driven along out in front leads by a couple of lengths wayward prince and Quito la Roque have both traveled very comfortably into contention as they race towards another plain one and across the bay comes in takes it again shortens up into it and now snapping right at the leader's heels wayward prince 
and also Quita de la Roque with Calgary Bay. So heading towards another open ditch and out in front across the bay over from Wayward Prince, Quito de la Roque just a couple of lengths back to Calgary Bay and Quito de la Roque's rider also just beginning to niggle along at this stage. Jack Doyle and Wayward Prince travelling the best of the quartet. So over that and another mistake by Calgary Bay. That's his third of the contest and another reminder for across the bay out in front. Quito de la Roque will stick to the task uh, very well is on the outside of Wayward Prince and these two continue to travel powerfully in pursuit of the ridden along leader and a gap's beginning to open to Calgary Bay who's four lengths down for the first time is pushed along across fences four from the finish across the bay Wayward Prince moves out to get a good sight of it uh, Quito de la Roque is over and then Calgary Bay who's managed to work back into contention so all of a sudden the three are snapping at the heels of the leader across the bay Wayward Prince in second Quito de la Roque just caught a little one paced at the moment pushed along Calgary Calgary Bay has worked himself right back into contention, all four with every chance, across the bay sticking to the task, but it's been hard work throughout the final circuit, Wayward Prince jumps now to within half a length, Calgary Bay all of a sudden comes back on the bridle, Quito de la Roque is under strong pressure, run down towards the last ditch, two from home, across the bay with Wayward Prince, then Quito de la Roque as they take two from home, Calgary Bay just two lengths covering the lot, and across the bay is still in there pitching, Wayward Prince is now being brought to challenge, by Jack Doyle. These two are two lengths clear from Quito de la Roque. The moment of truth for Wayward Prince, who's asked to go and take across the bay on the run towards the last and opens up a two length advantage. All of a sudden, across the bay is struggling. And this is a final fence. Wayward Prince is over. Quito de la Roque is staying on with across the bay. Wayward Prince driven out across the bay is still sticking to the task. But Wayward Prince has too many guns for him and will pay a compliment to Sylvian Arco Conti and also to Hilary Parrott as Jack Doyle guides him to success from across the bay in second, Quito de la Roque in third and eventually Calgary Bay crosses the line, a weary last of four. Yeah, great day for the Parrot family. Wayward Prince wins the Betfred Treble Odds on Lucky 15 chase and wins it really well. Get him back to form after his days with Ian Williams and uh, that was a good performance.